Um, eligibility for emergency broadband benefit expanded on Lifeline by using, by including Pell recipients, students getting free or reduced lunch and those experiencing economic <clears throat> hardship from the pandemic. There's still a need for a long-term broadband subsidy to build on this work. And I believe that the eligibility for EBB should serve as a floor for our future work. And as we expand the reach of federal support, we need to ensure that those who are eligible for a qualifying program are not forced to complete burdensome paperwork, especially if they are without internet access. Mr. Lewis, how can the federal government leverage existing databases to reduce the burden on families seeking broadband support? So hopefully we can learn from not only the implementation of the EBB system, uh, we can also uh, use uh, databases such as the SNAP database, other databases that can verify uh, who uh, is applying uh, and get them expedited into, into the system. Right, and so it's a good way to reach out in order to make sure that we are reaching the people who really need us, so. Okay. Right. You want to meet people where they are. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I'm going to yield back seven seconds, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. I thank the gentlelady for that.